the sample paper of 2014, there was a volume question that was linked to differentiation. So here, the company has to design a rectangular box for a new range of jelly beans. The box is to be assembled from a single piece of cardboard cut from a rectangular sheet measuring 31 by 22 centimeters. And the box is to have a capacity of 500 centimeters cubed. So the length by width by height is equal to 500 centimeters cubed. The net for the box, so as if we opened it out, as shown below, the company is going to use the full length and width of the rectangular piece of cardboard and the shaded areas or flaps of width one centimeter, which are needed for assembly. The height of the box is height centimeters as shown in the diagram. Now write the dimensions of the box in centimeters in terms of H. So here we see that each of these flaps is one, which it told us. The shaded areas are flaps of width one. So there's another one. There's another one. 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 And one. Right, so if our total width here is 22 centimeters, and we want to get uh, the dimensions of the box in terms of height. So here we have 22 in total. So let's see where I read it here. 22 minus 1 minus h minus 1 and minus another h. Because here is h and down there is h. Because the sides are going to fold up, so they must be the same height. Imagine there's the base of my box, which it is. Both them sides fold up. So if that is height h, the other side's going to be side h as well. So tidy that up, you get 22 minus 1 minus 1 is 20 minus 2h is your width of the box, say 20 minus 2h. Similarly, for your length, we have 31 centimeters the full way across. So we're going to have 31 minus 1 for your flap. Now your sides are h and h again minus h minus h. Now we don't know the top and the bottom, but that top is going to have the exact same size as our bottom bit because it's going to be folded over. So when the sides come up, this top bit's going to be directly above your bottom. So it must have the same size, the same dimensions. So if we tidy that up, we get 30 minus 2h. Now that's in total between these two areas. Between that and that is going to be 30 minus 2h. And they're going to be the same size. So how do we work out the dimensions of each of them? Divide that by 2. So we get 15 minus h. So your length is 15 minus h. Your width is 20 minus 2h. And your height is h. Next page. Write an expression for the capacity of the box in cubic centimetres in terms of h. So volume is length times width times height. So h times 15 minus h times 20 minus 2h. Just your, the answers to your previous part. And if you tidy that up, 15 times 20, 200, 300, minus 30h, minus 20h, plus 2h squared. Um, so that's h times 300 minus 50h plus 2h squared. <coughs> and you multiply that out, 2h cubed minus 50h squared plus 300h. So there's an expression for a volume. Show that the value of h Part C shows the value of h to give the box with the square bottom will give the correct capacity. Now, if it has a square bottom, that means that this red line here, so this here line here, will be the same as this. So if it's a square bottom, your length and your width are going to be equal. So we must find our values of h that make our length and our width equal. So if it's squ f square bottom, uh, 
to your 15 minus h is equal to your 20 minus 2h. So we solve for h first of all. Minus h plus 2h is equal to 20 minus 15. h is equal to 5. And show that the value of h that gives a square bottom will give the correct capacity. Now log that into your volume. So the volume is equal to 2 times 5 cubed minus 50 times 5 squared plus 300 times 5. When you put that in, you should get 500 centimeters cubed. Because that's what says the correct capacity. D. Find correct for one decimal place. The other value of h that gives the correct capacity. So if we know one of the values of h, like your root, is h is equal to 5, that means our factor is h minus 5. So here's just simply your factor theorem, your long division. So h minus 5 into your 2h cubed minus 50h squared plus 300h. So what do you want to pay h by to get 2h cubed, 2h squared? Multiply it down, draw the line, change the signs. When you multiply h by, you get minus 40h squared minus 40h. Multiply it down, draw the line, change the signs. For the Ah, uh, I forgot. This wasn't working out. So I forgot to let this here expression equal to 500. Now when you let that expression equal to 500, so your 2h cubed minus 50h squared plus 300h equals 500, <coughs> that 500 comes across, becomes a minus 500. That's the beauty of it. You'll know if you've gone wrong in this, because you shouldldn't get a remainder, obviously. So what do you want to have a h by to get minus 500? Or h by to get, sorry, 100h comes down it is a hundred maybe a hundred h minus five hundred is equal to zero so yeah the other value h that gives the correct capacity correct capacity i.e equals five hundred bring it across and then do long division of that now you're left with the quadratic up here solve your quadratic It says uh, to one decimal place, more likely to use your minus b formula, so minus minus 40 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Put that in your calculator and you get two answers. One is 17.1 and one is 2.9 centimeters. Now you cannot have 17.1 because one of your values over here, 17 minus h, 15 minus 17.1 gives you minus. So there you go, h is equal to 2.9 centimeters. If you solve that back into your volume, it should give you the same thing. Or 500. And then the last bit of this, the client is planning a special 10% extra fee, free. So instead of your volume being equal to 500, your volume now is equal to 550 centimeters cubed. And needs to increase the capacity of the box by 10%. The company is checking whether they can make this new box from a piece of cardboard the same size as the original one. Um, they draw the graph below to represent the box capacity as a function of h. Use your graph to explain why it is not possible to make the larger box from a piece of cardboard. So here, our current capacity of 500, if you're looking at it, goes like that. So we can see our current capacity of 500 gives us our height, which is 5. You know, so you don't need to fill in that line, but it gives us a basis of what's happening here. So we have a height of 5. This is what I'm telling you, h is 5. h is equal to 5. That works. h is also equal to, we said, 2.9. Marvellous. 4, 3, 2.9 down there. So there's your two values of h. 
it gives the capacity of 500. Now they want a value of or a volume of 550. So here's your 550. Only place that cuts the graph is down here. And down there you get a value of 16, 17, say 17.1 centimeters. Now you can't have a value of 17.1 because as we said, one of our lengths is 15 minus h and the other or width is 20 minus 2h. Now if you were to sub each of these into that there, you would have negative length and width, which you cannot have in your lap. So it doesn't work. 